Welcome to another expanded edition of American Warrior Radio. This is a great day to be an American. You know, this is your radio program, whether you're a veteran of the military or on active duty. Maybe you're a family member of a vet or active duty soldier, sailor, airman, or marine. Or maybe you're just a patriotic American that wants to get involved in supporting our troops. You know what? You've come to the right place. That's right, American Warrior Radio, right here on the Talk To Me station, WMEL. As you probably all know, my name is Garen Cohn. I'm the president and founder of AVET Project, which sponsors this very program, and I'm an Air Force veteran, as well as a retired legal advocate for veterans. But as usual, I'm not flying through the airwaves alone. Yeah, good morning. I'm Glenn McGuffey, the manager of your Brevard County Veteran Services team, and we're happy to be bringing you some great information today. We're going to talk about some events going on around the, our county, uh, some good information about veterans benefits and we've got some special guests here going to talk about a couple other things for we us. certainly do we're chock full of news and information and entertainment today a couple things i want to get out of the way real quick avet project was to hold the first annual car wash karaoke concert and unfortunately we have had to postpone that due to some circumstances beyond our control as a matter of fact there's an operational readiness inspection going on right now at patrick air force base and that prevented a uh, slew of active duty troops from making it out today we want to salute them for all that they're doing to protect us and getting ready for whatever they have to deal with i understand they couldn't make it that's okay We'll do it another day. Isn't that right, Glenn? Absolutely. And uh, besides, you may get a free car wash later on today, anyway, <laughs> from what I saw in the weather. Yeah, it looks like we could have some rain coming in. So for all you folks that were going to come out and support us, we sure appreciate that. And we look forward to doing something like that. Again, car wash, karaoke, hot dogs. It's going to be a fun event somewhere down the road. So keep stay tuned for that. A couple other housekeeping things we want to talk about. Uh, Uno's, Chicago Grill and Pizzeria. They have a wonderful program that AVET Project is participating in. It's going on right now through August 1st. All you have to do to participate is go to www.avetproject.org. What's AVET an acronym for again, Glenn? American Veterans Empowerment Team, and they do great things for our troops here and abroad. So avetproject.org. Go to the bottom of the page on the left-hand side. You'll see the Facebook icon. Just click on it, and it'll take you right to the home page of our Facebook, and you'll be able to download these coupons. The neat thing is, just download the coupon. You're going to go out to dinner anyway. Why not help support the troops? And Uno's, one of our wonderful community... Uh, th this is a community operation. These folks do a lot of things, not just for AVET Project, but other nonprofits. So we want you to support them. Go to UNO's with this coupon through August 1st. That means you don't have a specific day. You can just go on anytime you like into UNO's there on uh, North Wickham with that coupon. And a portion of the proceeds is going to go back to AVET Project, which, of course, as Glenn mentioned, we do a slew of things from reintegration retreats for returning combat vets. We've got that care package program. That's right, Nick. You know, there's you, you can never donate too much, as they say. And, uh, and another convenient thing about these coupons is you can use them to dine in or for takeout at Uno's. That's that's how neat this outfit is, and and the program is great. And it's going on through August first. Another item that we got to mention because we want you all to attend. Whether you've got a motorcycle, a classic car, or an old VW, it doesn't matter. Please plan on attending the Diva Angels mudslides recovery event 2011 it's going to take place a week from today that's july 16th at beefo brady's in midtown right across from the high school as i recall uh yeah it's going to be a fun time get in there lots of things going on car show swap meet uh after party raffles food bike wash all kinds of good things so stop in say hello we will be there I'm not sure that we're going to be able to hook up live, but WMEL will have a presence, as will American Warrior Radio. So I encourage everybody to get involved in that. Yeah, that's cool. Now, you mentioned we have some special guests. Yeah, let me uh, have the honor of introducing... They're already grinning, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> let me have the honor of introducing my granddaughter, Alexis, Hi. and her good friend from Tampa, Abby. Hey. Hi. And... The, 
they were out uh, with me yesterday on the beach watching the, sh the last shuttle, unfortunately, blast off. And what what did you think about that, girls? Um, it was cool because um, that was the first shuttle launch I actually, actually saw. Um, it's also kind of sad knowing that the program's over with now. But you were part of history. That's the cool part, huh? Yeah. yeah. And we also um, recorded it on my iPod. <laughs> so nice. All right. People. You definitely share that with all your friends. That's that's super cool. And I understand there's some photographs of you two girls taking photographs, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Folks, go to the Avet Project Facebook page again. You're going to see these two lovely ladies out there on the beach as the shuttle lifted off yesterday with their cameras, and it was a fun time. Yeah. And Where'd you view it from, Glenn? I I viewed they viewed it down on the beach, and I viewed it up in my uh, in-laws condo which was cool up on the fifth floor got a good view of it from there and you know speaking of my in-laws my father-in-law is a World War II veteran and Vietnam and he was a uh, bomber pilot during World War II and I heard, Alexis didn't you make a presentation about him being your hero at school one day? Um, actually, I had to write a, my Florida Rights, one of our Florida Rights essays was about who you think is a personal hero of yours. And I chose my great-grandfather, and I actually got, a, a, the FCAT would have graded I, I would have gotten a six on that FCAT. Describe, what's that mean? I don't know the FCAT business. Um, for sixes, that's the highest you can get. That means that it was very good writing, and it was one of the skilled pieces. And if you get a four or above on your Florida rights, then you get to pass on to your next grade level. Wow, so you really knocked it out of the park with that one. Mm -hmm. Give us a little details on that, that story you wrote, though. Mm -hmm. um, I detailed in my story um, a lot about my great-grandfather telling me stories about how he defended his country. And also, when I was little, flying with him in small aircrafts that he flew, he stopped flying probably when he was 83 or 84. So I also put that was very inspiring to work that long. And I also put how much he dedicated his life to the country and also mentioned my grandfather and how I have a long history background of military people. Well, you're an impressive young lady, and I'm glad you got the score that you deserved. So you basically aced that puppy. Mm-hmm. Cool. Talking about yesterday, I mean, you're obviously interested in space and air travel and things like that. And as, as you mentioned, Abby, it is once in a lifetime, last in a lifetime to watch the shuttle go off. Were there a lot of people out there? Yeah, it was really crowded. It was very crowded. Um, we would have seen more people, but we just walked down to the local beach. Yeah, it was it was a great day. And you know what? I think there's even some pictures, folks, of the launch with a surfer in the surf as it's going up. Pretty incredible. That, Did That's pretty cool, yeah. Uh, and I, I just uh, throw in a little sidebar here. Uh, in conversations I've had with my father-in-law, he uh, flew 35 combat bomber missions during World War II and if you if you know a little of the history back then as, as my history comes to me the normal tour was 25 so he he pushed the limit by 10 more missions and that that was kind of awesome and he, he's certainly an awesome person like Alexis is saying over there that's that's an impressive feat no kidding uh, how long was he in the service? Did he retire from the service? Yeah, he uh, he retired after like 27 years in the military. Uh, moved to Denton, Texas at that point in time and uh, became a commercial pilot for a charter outfit for a long time. And on, on, well, and, and, and on the side, for, like Alexis said, he's, he taught flying lessons up until his 80s, so... Impressive. And you flew with him in a personal aircraft. Yes, I was probably eight or nine, and I felt I was awake for the first hour, but then you fall asleep. So <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Folks, stay tuned to American Warrior Radio. We'll be back after these important words. Hang in there.